everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today I have our master bathroom room tour I guess you could call it. It's um, I'm going to take you through the cupboards as well just to show you how I've organized it. Now I'm not a hundred percent liking the setup I've got at the moment but this is what we have so far and I'll take you through and show you everything that we have. So if you have a look here, this is our bedroom and I'll just show you, I've actually switched out our bedding today. So I've got the pinky, pinky look to our bedding. So this is our bedroom and then here you walk in, like it's all open so you can just walk straight into the bathroom. So on this side, through that door there, we have our toilet. Then we have our shower and then we have our vanity which has got like a little cut out there so we've got a his and her sink and then three cupboards and then on this side we have our bath so I'll show you the bath we have um this is the part that I'm just not not feeling it at the moment it just, um, yeah, I, like I said, this is, I've just decorated as it is for now, but like I probably want to put some towel racks on that wall there so I can actually hang the towels on there. And um, here we've just got like a little faux plant in a Kmart little pot. I've just got a couple of towels there sitting there. Then I've just got a couple of candles in there. Then we have a nice big bath. I've yet to use it actually. And then on this side here, I've just got some milk powder in one of those containers and some Himalayan rock salt in the other. So the milk powder you, you can use like in your bath. It's supposed to make your skin really soft and everything. And um, some Himalayan rock salt is supposed to be good for minerals and things in your bath as well. So then again there, we've got another big sort of blank wall that, yeah, I probably want to put something there as well. But yeah, that's that's our bath at the moment. And we've just got plain white tiles sort of on the backsplash and then like a light gray sort of mottled look tile on the floor. So on the vanity here, we just have a soap dispenser. That's my side. Then here we've just got a few little trinkets and yeah, I'm not loving this sort of floral display, but um, I haven't seen anything else that I wanna, like I haven't seen the type of flower I wanna put in there yet. So I'm still having a look on, you know, a look out for that, but there'll be something different in there. I think I'm just not feeling that. And um, I've just got a couple of little trinkets on here. We've got like a little uh, glass, candle holder from Ikea, little candle from the reject shop. This was actually from um, Target. And then these two containers were from Kmart. And one of them has cotton balls and then the other one has Q-tips. And then on this side, my husband's side is pretty much the same, just a sink with a soap dispenser. And then I'll take you through, I'll show you the shower and everything first. So in our shower, we just have, I've just got a couple of hooks hanging up on there, just with our loofers or shower poofs and razors and combs. And then we've got all our products on the little shower nook there. And yeah, just one of those um, detachable, shower heads which I, I love them because it makes cleaning the shower like so much easier um, so that's that shower then our bathroom is nothing <laughs> nothing so fancy just basically a toilet with a window we just got a little bin on the side and a little toilet brush on the other side but um, our lids are the same as the kids lids they're like a soft closed lid so there's no slamming of the toilet toilet um, seats anymore, which is good. Yeah, that's going to take a while. <laughs> and then on this side, we've just got a couple of towels. Now, normally I would have my, like I'd have white and 
like our pink and grey type towels there, but we've just switched them out now. So Michael just likes plain black ones or dark grey ones. And I've got a couple of white ones there. So then when you look sort of this way, that's kind of like what our light looks like. Then we've got a little light up the top there, which is quite pretty. Okay, so I'll show you through our cupboards and how I've got them sort of set up. So this is my cupboard. So what I've done, I've put everything in baskets because everything looks better in baskets. It always looks a lot tidier. So I have this basket here, has got all my teeth cleaning products. So like my toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash. So in this tray, this is my, my everyday items that I use like for face, body, so like just your deodorants, face creams. Then down the bottom here in this basket is all my hair care products that I sort of use on a daily basis. Then at the back there is just some overflow and some hair dye. And then I've got two big storage tubs here that are at the moment they're chocked full of Nivea stuff because Nivea had a massive half price sale on so I've pretty much stocked up on all the products that I use as far as Nivea goes. So yeah huge lot of products there to you so that's pretty much how i organize and i've just got a few um, excess deodorants at the back there that were on special as well so i just like to keep everything in baskets i just find it just looks so much neater in your cupboards even if they're not that neat in the basket themselves then in this middle basket we just have our toilet rolls some hand towels and face washers that's just the key for the bathroom window and then in this container I have all my feminine hygiene products and in this one is just like overflow from like cotton balls, um, shower poofs, toothpaste and things like that. So I just sort of store them there. And then at the back there is also some excess shampoos and conditioners that we got while they were on special. Then in my husband's cupboard, hopefully his is neat, I hope he can really check. Oh, yeah. Well, I've pretty much done the exact same setup in his cupboard. So he has all his toothbrushes in there. Now you can probably see he pretty much just organizes his how he likes it. So he's got shavers, toothbrush stuff and everything all mixed in together. These would be his everyday use type products. I think then he keeps all his shaving things in this one and then all his hair dye stuff at the back. And then in these two boxes, he also again has um, a storage container for all his excess deodorants and body sprays when they were on special. And then in this container, we have all his hair clipping um, tools and set. Now these plastic clear boxes I bought from the reject shop. You get six of them in a set for $20 and they're brilliant. Like they're, they're really, they're actually really compact, but they fit a lot in them. So, I mean, I'd highly recommend them. And they're so cheap, like six of them for $20. They, these are the same boxes I've got all through my craft room as well. I love them, I use them everywhere. So that's pretty much our cupboard setup. And yeah, I mean, I guess there's not much to, <laughs> to the bathroom really, but um, that's just a little, little update of what we have at the moment. And like I said, I'm not 100% feeling it, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it over the next few months. At least we've got it sort of organized and cleaned and you know, it, it's livable now. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll keep you updated as I come up with new ideas. And yeah, and I'll have a um, bit of a, maybe I should show you now, give you a sneak peek because my, my lampshades came. I don't know if you can really see them that well, but they're the same ones I've got in the bathroom. I actually bought three of them, so I was using two here and I was planning to put the other one in the wardrobe um, and then get a different one for the for the bathroom but my husband said no just put put it in the bathroom so it's sort of all matching so yeah there's a little bit of an update for you on my bedroom i've got my little lampshades up and if you can see here i've got a couple of prints up these prints actually came in a set so there was four there plus those four as well came in one big pack from the reject shop and i think they were about 15 dollars for the set so i've just put four of them up just sort of next to my 
dressing table there and then the other four I've put in this little corner here so yeah we're slowly getting there so I haven't got my chair yet I'm gonna order my chair today I didn't actually order it at the time that I thought I did I, I must have taken it out of my shopping cart online so I'm gonna order that today there's a little update of our bed I've got my pink pink throw blanket on and my pink cushions and also what I've done is I know I was going to put some sort of mirror or something here but we had this little wall decor piece from our old place and I didn't really know where I was going to use it but I thought oh maybe I'll just put it there and I like the way it looks at this stage if I find something better maybe I'll swap it out but no I kind of like the way that looks and that again was just a wall decor piece from the reject shop I think it would have only been about 10 or 12 dollars so yeah they're just a couple of little updates for you guys and um, obviously I'll keep keep giving you some updates as I go and if you want to see a, um, a video on what sort of products I use in the shower and the bathroom and everyday products just leave them in the comments below and I can and do one of those for you as well I like seeing those sort of videos so I don't know if you're interested <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely do them if you have any other suggestions for videos you want to see please leave them in the comments below as well and I will get to them I have had a couple of suggestions already and I have take, taken note of those and they are on my list I've just got to um, get round to doing them so yeah well I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one thanks for watching